this is dr fahim ashtak today we are going to discuss the uh, key scheduling algorithm based on hybrid cube algorithm in other words we say that kisak algorithm uh, that is generated for the non binary block cipher uh, where we discuss in our previous lecture which is the high sin encryption algorithm we will integrate this kisak algorithm with the high sin encryption encrypt, encrypted algorithm this is the lecture series of cryptography and network security uh as you know earlier is the uh we have a uh, three major key component for the for any cryptographic algorithm first one is the encryption algorithm second one is the decryption algorithm third is the key scheduling algorithm in previous lecture we are discussed the high c uh, encryption decryption algorithm and uh, uh, in this lecture in the third component which is the key scheduling algorithm we are going to discuss how the completely how we completely design the key scheduling algorithm based on three dimensional hybrid cube and uh, accordingly we have checked that how we in previous lecture we uh, we will see that uh, uh, we have integrate or embedded this kisak algorithm with the high sin encryption algorithm actually the key scheduling algorithm why it is important actually it is used to generate the secret key and play a uh, important role or we say that crucial role in the development of encryption decryption key poor the key scheduling algorithm will generate weak key for the encryption process that can be easily attacked by using the brute force attack because script analysis continuously try all possible combination to get original text using this attack the size and the number of sub key depend on the design of cipher Here is the first step in the development of Kisak is to generate the rotation of hybrid cube service, which is the main component in the construction of encryption key and decryption key in the key scheduling algorithm. Primary and secondary diagonal, circle, triangular, hybrid cube layer are involved uh, in the design of the rotation of hybrid cube. Here, first import uh, here important to know that. a question is that if the key scheduling algorithm is previously designed for the uh, high c algorithm then why we need the de development of uh, uh, key scheduling algorithm based on hybrid cube for the learner or your information uh, in previously they have used the hybrid cube services with the two dimensional structure but in the new case development of new algorithm is used for the rotation of a uh, cubic structure using the three dimensional feature here also the shifting and mixing of row and column of hybrid cube provide the resultant matrix that must be invertible and invertible matrices is used in the development of encryption key decryption key uh, in uh, key for the block cipher the second step is that is the development of key scheduling algorithm this development involve the generation of key table by using the matrices that are utilized in the rotation of hybrid cube the third step uh, is included uh, is that is the uh, encryption algorithm uh, the development involve the generation uh, of key scheduling algorithm after that we will we are uh we are design the uh, we are integrate the uh high c or key scheduling algorithm with the high c encryption algorithm in this uh, function we encrypt the message using the encryption key to produce a cipher text once we uh, uh encrypt the message using uh, the encryption key into cipher text after that the final step or final stage is that the decryption algorithm in the decryption algorithm uh, the message uh, decryption algorithm used to decrypt the cipher text that are receive uh, uh, after the encryption is convert into original message using the similar decryption key here uh, i again uh, confirm that we are using the symmetric uh, block cipher structure that's why in the symmetric block cipher we use the similar key for the encryption and decryption processes 
Next are the uh, processes for the key scheduling algorithm. Every algorithm is almost have an input uh, uh, process and the uh, output. The input of the uh, proposed key scheduling algorithm is the user password. Uh, the Kisak algorithm determine a permutation based on user password in generating the triangular key matrix of all faces of hypercube. The initialization vector is also used as a secondary security measure with the user password to prevent the uh, repetition in a key. Eight digit value of selection of column and uh, column and uh, uh, row rotation is also uh, implied uh, 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 that is generated from the rotation of columns and row. Furthermore, the CRJ value or we say that the resultant uh, column row value is also used to identify the initialization phase of uh, row and column. A new combination of triangular key matrix is generated by using the uh, shift row operation and uh, uh, generation and the rotation point based on the unique matrices and uh, similarly uh, uh, the rotation uh, or shift operation is similar to the uh, shift column operation we have done. Here is the simply we briefly discuss the processes next in slides we will discuss one by one how the each process we design. This new combination of layer entry using the rotation of hybrid cube can be used to add the randomness in the output of the uh, proposed algorithm. Only the invertible triangular key matrices uh, of the hybrid cube can be used as the encryption and decryption key in the non-binary block cipher. Here is the design of hybrid cube surface is uh, divided into uh, uh, as as you know, the hypercube is divided into six different faces. Uh, in other words, we say that the magic cube is contained the six different faces uh, or Rubik cube. We normally play with the color uh, to adjust the color combination uh, with the Rubik cube, in which uh, six different faces and each face is divided into four different quarter. Here in there, that case, uh, you see here is that we are divide uh, we are using only the single face of the hypercube surface on uh, firstly we applied all the experiment on the single face then later on we apply the similar process of, or experiment on the other faces of the hypercube here we see that the uh, four quarter q1 q2 q3 q4 uh, is the interaction uh, intersection of two diagonal line passes from the center of the circle the primary diagonal line in the x-axis uh, where the collection of ent uh, entry is equal to i equal to j which we say that the uh, primary diagonal uh, whereas the second diagonal on the y-axis where the collection of entry hypercube surface f into ij where i plus j equal to 5 based on definition 1 here you can we you can find the detailed definition of primary and secondary diagonal the extraction uh, of the coordinate value during the rotation of hypercube surface or shifting the value of quarter 1 and to quarter 2, 3 to 4 based on the property discussed in the definition 2 uh, by using the occlusion uh, here which you see that the quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4 uh, with that occlusion we have uh, to rotate uh, all the quarters. Uh, and they shift the value of one quarter to the another value. Each quarter of the square matrix is used to generate the one coordinate for the newly generated key matrix based on the quarter equation. Uh, if we uh, simplify or uh, simplify this summation equation, we will find that with this quarter value, after the uh, after this quarter value, we'll will get only the single value by using this single value we see that we have a four quarter we we will get the four different coordinate in other words we say that with the four quarter we will get the four different coordinate in other words we say that we are generate the one row for the each mattress using uh, uh, using this uh, triangular coordinate extraction technique and similarly all the four equation are used to extract the value 
oh, and and generate the one coordinate using uh, this primary and secondary diagonal intersection uh, algorithm. For detail, you may search out the uh, research paper Triangular Coordinate Extraction for Hybrid Cube, uh, which is published in the Journal of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Here are the input uh, key matrices uh, or referred to as a state uh, are structured into four into four matrices. In this regard, we are generate the 24 key matrices. Uh, uh, I will tell you how, why we need to design the 24 matrices for the generation of six phases of hypercube. In previous slide, we see that with the one Phase of hypercube. Here is array which contain the 16 coordinate. 16 coordinate mean 4 into 4 matrix you have. After the 4 and 4 matrix you have generate only the one row in the newly generated matrix. Similarly, for the second matrix in the hypercube, which we using the triangular coordinate extraction technique. After that, we will receive the one second row of the single phase. Similarly, in the we use the uh, third matrix of hybrid cube and uh, after that we generate the third row of the phase one similarly we see that the uh, fourth row uh, a fourth uh, a matrix of the hybrid cube we using that we generate the fourth matrix uh, because of the four key matrices of hybrid cube we generate the single matrix of newly generated matters using the triangular coordinate extraction technique. Similar process we applied to the all other uh, four four uh, matrices and we generate the phase two, next four, next four, next four. We After that we will generate the uh, six phases. Uh, uh, before I say that why we use 24 matrices. Four matrices are used to generate single phase. For six phases, we use 16 to 4, 24 key matrices. Because of that, we are using the 24 matrices uh, for the generation of uh, uh, one uh, key matrix. The generated Q matrices are used uh, in the subsection for this shift column on uh, transformation. Now, here is the, the brief, the input of key scheduling algorithm can be considered as uh, N. The M is M and IV are considered as the predefined string of uh, integer number and P of J is also obtained from the user. P of J is the password. Password we are taken from the user. The overall input of the uh, addition of initialization vector, IV is the initialization vector and P J into password that result is modulo with respect to M which denoted at denoted as uh, column uh, which denoted as the uh, resultant value uh, which is the column raw uh, resultant value and can be represented using this equation you will find the CRG value of column raw selection value. Uh, next you see that uh, here we differentiate with ABCD uh, with the first four the uh, uh, integer of this resultant value are used for the initialization phase of column rotation and the last four w x y z are used for the initialization of uh, raw rotation uh, why we need the column rotation initialization phase because if we see that uh, in the hybrid cube we have different color combinations six different phases if we use the single uh, phase of hyper cube we, you see that if we use uh, if we, uh, we we mention the numbering on the each phase one two three four and the left is fifth and right is sixth um, maybe if the initialization column is the phase one then we will say that okay one is our front phase upper phase is two back phase is three uh, below, down uh, um, below phase is the fourth and left will be the five and right will be the sixth phase. If we have uh, suddenly uh, the, with the password and after the CRJ value generation, uh, if we get after this calculation, the face value five, if the face value five, you will see that 
then we uh, move to the cube into uh, to the five then you see that five two six and four is the combination this is what why we need the initialization why we need to add the complexity in the rotation of phase uh, in the column rotation similarly in the raw rotation side we also say that uh, we also see that we add the different numbering in the uh, six phases of hypercube uh, based on that we have based on this equation we will select that uh, where to start the uh, rotation of the hypercube next is the shift column rotation uh, algorithm uh, the definition which is the shift column operation is the transfer re, uh, transposition of column vector that cyclically shift the column of each face over the different column offset of the hypercube it's other word we say that cyclically rotate uh, the hypercube uh, of the hypercube if we rotate the one column it will affect to the second third fourth all column and even though if we rotate the first column and the last column here you see that the last column here you see the first column if we rotate the first column then you see that the left face is the orange color which are also rotate which also move in the uh, anti clockwise direction if we see that uh, in the fourth face in the hybrid cube you will see that uh, if we uh, uh, rotate the anti clockwise uh, or to the this column then we see that the uh, see the sixth phase uh, in, a, in this one is show that the red color phase which also uh, represent the movement in the clockwise direction in the first column we see that with the uh, invertible anti clockwise rotation of column and the quarters are rotated uh, using the anti clockwise where the similar the column anti clockwise rotated but the quarters are rotated in the clockwise direction uh, due to that we uh, further uh, this research further proposed that if the different faces of a cube having first and fourth column then the value of the lambda equal to 1 otherwise the value of the middle column value is lambda equal to 0 the equation can be set as this uh, this we move 1 to 4 value we have four different faces and 4 into rotation mean each rotation it rotate 4 time uh, the ith rotation we say that if one time rotate uh, the rotation of column value we taken from the previous slide we in previous slide we see that uh, uh, if we will move back here you see that we have a value we say that first four used for column rotation last four used for raw rotation if the a value here the value is 1 for example if the value is 2 okay a is a value of 2 1 2 3 whatever the value uh, uh, whatever the value is 2 we say that in uh, here first column is rotated with the 2 time second column second value over there mention crj second value mention is one time rotated we have rotate one time third is one time for example fourth we maybe say that three time rotate then we will rotate the three time whatever the value is selected by uh, the user of the password after the calculation crj value we receive then accordingly um, uh, this is the dynamic structure how many time the all the column will be rotated c value uh, is uh, after the quarters we say that the uh, lambda equal to zero y was zero second and uh, uh, third column rotation you see that no left and right uh, movement of the faces of the hypercube due to that we will manage if the value of uh, we use the uh, second and third then we uh, what we do is uh, we will uh, uh, give the lambda value will be the zero here is the algorithm that designed for the for this uh, shift column transformation and uh, this is what the case 1 and 2 is that case 2 is that if we select the phase 5 then we see that the if phase 5 we have a combination 2 4 and 6 and left become the 3 and right become the 1 uh, if we use uh, the value if value will be changed then uh, the different combination each face become the diff generate the different combination of different faces similar to the shift collaboration we will perform the shift operation in which also doing the same 
we see that the first straw and the last straw will affect, will affect the upper and the below uh, below columns uh, below uh, face as well affect the so the formula will also generate the same where the lambda equal to zero mean uh, we are using the second and third call a uh, row and if the lambda value equal to one we say that we will use the first and uh, uh, fourth column and here the case one is that in uh, i value will be the one three five or six if we return get the value of initialization phase of raw is one three five or six we will get the combination five one six three whereas the case two is that if we get the value two and three initialization phase value of raw then the combination will be the five two six four this is what are the combination and after that uh, uh, we will get after that the row rotation we will get this value uh, 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 firstly in firstly we will generate the new mattress using triangular coordinate extraction technique after that we apply the operation on this mattress of the shift column operation and then we move forward to the shift row after the shift row we will get the value like that after that we will move for the modulo operation of the hybrid cube in the modulo operation we will see, apply the modulus on the shift row operation matrices and after getting the modulo we will see that uh, we will get the lot of repetition in the matrices the purpose of the uh, modulo operation in order to get the unique matrices our target is to get the unique matrix there is no we will not find the uh, combination where have similarity or the attacker get the uh, hint how to uh, how to open that key uh, so for that purpose uh, we apply the module operation where wherever we get the uh, uh, repeated value we will see here many repeated value we will apply apply this definition first we move from the top to less number like firstly if we see the phase one firstly we see that how many times the 515 is uh, uh, repeated we see that first one repetition is this second one is this as per the definition on firstly uh, first repetition is that uh, this is the first number here is the first repetition if the first repetition we will minus the one number like we say that 15 minus 1 is the 14 if then we check the 14 in the whole mattress is this repetition no then we check 13 we move forward until to the value of 0 when we get the value 0 if we still find that we have uh, repetition and then move to the another definition which will the uh, addition of one number uh, wherever we find the repetition after that we will find the mattress that is unique uh, similar uh, to that example uh, we apply all these operation to the all the key matrices in the hypercube here is the triangular key matrices in the triangular key matrices you have seen that uh, we divide the uh, result Gen, uh, receive uh, in the shift operation of each phase after this phase we will uh, manage the value of the rotation point <coughs> in rotation point zero you see that the half of this value if the rotation of uh, uh, point one we see that here is the full value here is the half value because half in the quarter one half in the quarter four similarly if we go to the uh, uh, rotation point uh, become we, we get this coordinate value full and this one become half similarly all the rotation point you have done the same things and accordingly you will get the uh, all coordinate value where the 0 and 1 form once we get the 0 to 15 value what we are doing we will get the 0 and 15 value we just replace these values with the uh, this unique matrix value like phase 1 we have uh, we will uh, done the triangular rotation uh, we will find the triangular rotation value of uh, this phase we suppose that this is the phase one we done this all the operation with the phase one after that we get the 0 to 15 value when we get the 0 to 15 value we will uh, replace this value in the place of 0 here we will replace the value we find the in the next triangular key matrix value similarly if we see that one we replace the value of one here similarly all the phase we will uh, uh, complete the value with the fill the value with the unique matrices similarly 
we get the uh, shift from value of phase two and apply the same operation here and after that uh, we get the value and we replace that value and at the end the novelty of the key matrix uh, of the key scheduling algorithm is that all the generated master key and session key of hyper cube are invertible uh, and suitable for the encryption decryption algorithm uh, in short way we say that this uh, in the end this section calculate the value of key matrix that is generated with the shift operation using the rotation point which are based on the unique matrix the new key matrix are generated through the calculation of shift raw uh, coordinate value based on the rotation point and finally the value of each matrix is generated based on the unique matrix the generation of triangular key matrix uh, uh, matrix develop the confusion element in the design of key scheduling algorithm and in it increase the difficulty for the crypto analysis to try all possible uh, decryption key for detail if you want to see that how the all the processes are work you may find such the article which is the key scheduling algorithm using three dimensional hybrid cube for block cipher that is published in the international journal of advanced computer science and application thank you for today lecture uh, if you have a question or any query you may uh, comment uh, on the wall i will try to answer uh, as soon as i possible uh, moreover if you want to contact you may contact using email or other purpose uh, uh, at the end i would like to say that uh, keep watching our channel and subscribe uh, this channel and uh, uh bell icon push the bell icon to update for the latest video thank you